Hey guys, I recently uploaded a video on how to downgrade One UI 7 to One UI 6 using a PC and many of you asked, what if we don't have a computer? Well, I got you covered. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to downgrade One UI 7 to One UI 6 or simply downgrade any Samsung phone from Android 15 to Android 14 all without using a PC or computer. This method works on almost every Samsung device, whether you're on a Galaxy A series, M series or even the flagship S series. It will also work if you want to downgrade from One UI 8 to One UI 7, not just One UI 7 to 6. Now before we begin, here's something important you need to know. Downgrading will erase all data on your phone, including apps, photos and files. So make sure to back up everything important first. Also, you'll need another Android phone to help flash your Samsung device. This is essential for the process to work safely. Once that's done, let's start the downgrade process. Alright, before we begin the steps, let me quickly show you which device I'm using for this tutorial. As you can see, this is the Samsung Galaxy S23 running One UI 7 based on Android 15 and we're going to downgrade it, switching from One UI 7 back to One UI 6. The very first step is to enable developer options on your Samsung phone. So open settings, then scroll down and tap on about phone. Next, go into software information and here you'll see an option called build number. Just tap on it seven times until you see the message that developer mode has been turned on. Once done, go back to settings and you will see developer options. In developer options, scroll down and find USB debugging, then turn it on. This allows your Samsung phone to accept the downgrade firmware. Also, for safety, remove any Samsung account or Google account from your phone. Make sure to disable your PIN, pattern or password and set your screen lock to none. Doing this helps you avoid FRP factory reset protection lock during the downgrade process. Now we are done with step one, let's move on to step two, downloading the Samsung firmware. For this step, you'll also need another Android phone. I'm using my Poco F4, but you can use any Android phone that has internet access. Now just open Google and search for your exact Samsung model number. You can easily find the model number from your build number in the phone's settings. So I'll search for S911B. You can also add Sam FW after your model number to go straight to the firmware site. Here's the Sam FW website. Scroll down and select your region. I'm from India, so I'll choose India. Now you can see all the firmware versions available for my Samsung device. Now pay attention here, this is important to know. First, let's check which firmware is currently installed on the phone. So here is the firmware my device is currently running. One UI 7 ending with D9, which is Android 15. You can also check and confirm your firmware using your builder number. Now look at the bit number of the installed firmware. In my case, it is bit 8. This is important because we can only flash firmware with the same bit number. We cannot downgrade to a lower bit version like bit 7. If we try, the flashing process will fail with an error. So now we need to find the Android 14 firmware with the same bit value, like 8 in my case. And here it is, the firmware ending with BD, which is Android 14 and bit 8 compatible perfect for downgrading from Android 15 to Android 14. So just scroll down here, tap on the download button. And as you can see, the firmware starts downloading in just a few seconds. As you can see, the download has started and the file size is around 13 gigabytes. But I'm going to cancel this since I already have the same firmware downloaded earlier. So here is the firmware for One UI 6. Once you've got it, simply extract the zip file. Once done, you will see all the files inside the firmware folder. Now it's time for step 3, flash One UI 6 and uninstall Android 15. In this step, we'll use the Aeros Flash Tool app to safely downgrade Samsung Android 15 to Android 14 and install One UI 6, all directly from your phone. So download and install the Aeros Flash Tool app from the link in the description. Once it's installed, go ahead and open the Aeros app to get started. Here we have four options for the files, BL, AP, CP and CSC. First, click on the BL button and select the BL file from the firmware folder you just extracted. BL stands for bootloader. 
Next, click on the AP button and select the AP file from the firmware. AP stands for Application Processor. Do the same for the CP file. CP means Core Processor, which we also call the Modem. Now for the CSC file, you'll see two options, CSC and Home, CSC. If you don't want to erase your data, select Home CSC. But if you want a fresh install and don't mind formatting your device, select CASC. I recommend selecting CASC. Once all four files are added, it's time to connect your Samsung device to another Android phone using an OTG cable or a Type-C to Type-C cable. Once the device is connected, restart your Samsung phone. When the Samsung logo disappears, press the volume up and volume down buttons together until you see the blue warning screen. Now press the volume up button once and your device will boot into download mode. As soon as the phone enters download mode, a pop-up will appear in the Eros Flash Tool app asking for access to your Samsung device. Simply click OK and you should see your device listed under the connected devices section. Now click on the settings icon in the Eros app and make sure the auto reboot toggle is turned on. Alright, it's time to flash the One UI 6 firmware, just go ahead and hit the start button. And yes, the process has now started. First, Eros will verify all four files, this is called MD5 verification. And then the flashing will begin. Once flashing starts, your phone will begin the process to downgrade Samsung Android 15 to Android 14. You'll see a progress indicator on your Samsung phone as well as a percentage on the Eros app. This process may take 8 to 10 minutes depending on the size of the firmware. I'm going to fast forward through this part. Once the process is complete, your phone will reboot automatically, soon completing the downgrade from One UI 7 to One UI 6. So wait for it. And yes, the flashing is complete. As you can see, it reached 100% and the phone is now restarting. The first boot may take a little longer, so don't worry. This is completely normal. Just be patient. After a few moments, the setup screen will appear. Go ahead and set up your Samsung phone just like you normally would. And yes, the device has booted. Let me quickly set it up. And there we go. Our device is now fully booted into the system. This is what One UI 6 looks like. Let me open settings and confirm in About Phone. And there we go. We're now on One UI 6 running Android 14, exactly what we wanted. So that's how you can downgrade any Samsung phone from One UI 7 to One UI 6 or simply downgrade from Android 15 to Android 14 without using a PC or computer. And yes, this method also works if you want to downgrade from One UI 8 to One UI 7 on any compatible Samsung device. If this video helped you, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more Samsung tips and tutorials. Also, check out the description for the Eros Flash Tool link and all the firmware downloads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.